Hello and welcome to History 391. This week and next week, I'm only planning to post one video for the week and it'll actually be quite short. Um, the main reason for which is that I don't have a lot in the way of kind of discussion question material for you guys because I've conceived of this week and next week to be really focused on the sources that we're looking at. So this week it is In Retrospect by Robert McNamara and next week it is the three films that we had scheduled to watch. Um, the open topic paper is due this Friday and the idea being that you could continue with the research project idea that you had. Um, you're also welcome to just pick basically anything that we've covered up to now and write about it. Of course, I would encourage you to get in touch with me over Zoom. If you are completely at a loss of what to do, I would encourage you to write a paper about in retrospect. And that's one of the reasons I'm kind of just kind of keeping things light this week. And I want you to focus on the text. Also be aware that um, this text will likely come up in the final exam, which is still happening. Um, but we're not going to do any kind of, you know, log in live to take exam and that kind of nonsense. We'll do some kind of a, a take home paper type thing for that. So um, strongly encourage you to kind of, you know, re um, read the chapters that were mentioned in the syllabus. Certainly read the whole thing if you have the time and the interest, but I did indicate specific chapters in the syllabus to be looked through. A bit of context about this book, very, very interesting, very, very famous account. It's published in 1995 and uh, McNamara um, kind of, you know, is subject to lots of criticism from really every conceivable angle. Um, if you have the um, what do they call this version? Well, you show the version the bookstore had. Um, the appendix has some fantastic press coverage from the time, um, including coverage of a talk that um, McNamara gave in the Linda Baines Johnson School in Austin, Texas. Linda Baines Johnson Library, I should say, um, just adjacent to the campus, University of Texas at Austin, um, which kind of talks about at the time the way that um, McNamara was talking about this particular topic. And in fact, if you just go to YouTube, you're going to find very interesting clips of McNamara talking about this. Um, this is very controversial. Um, I was in Ho Chi Minh City a few years later um, and they ha I went to the War Museum in Ho Chi Minh City and they had this book, this exact copy of the book, sitting in a glass case um, with a plaque that basically said, even the Americans accept they were wrong about the war. Look at this as evidence. Um, McNamara has been criticized for taking that position. He's also been criticized for, okay, you're, you're, you're a public servant. Um, seeking to take responsibility, but, you know, 30 years too late. H.R. McMaster, who went on to serve in the Trump administration um, a couple of years ago, uh, wrote a book in 1997 called Dereliction of Duty, which is also very famous, which actually calls out McNamara. And although it was based on work he had done prior to, in, in retrospect, coming out, it was kind of an interesting kind of pairing with this particular moment. So a very famous kind, a very famous source, very much worth your time. I encourage you to read through it and read through the chapters, thinking about how does this factor into some of the dynamics that we've been talking about um, and be thinking about, right, how would I discuss this? How would I incorporate this into um, a potential kind of essay? And like I said, if you have no idea what to do for this Friday, just write me a paper focused on an aspect of this particular um, book. Um, I was going to give you guys a discussion question, but you know what? With the paper due, let's just let's just let's just pass that for this week. I don't think there's any need, particularly if people do choose to use the uh, McNamara book um, as the basis for their topic. I'm here if you need me. As always, have a great week, and thank you for watching.